this morning I wake up and I see the Today magazine of the ship, and I see that it was going to be a Catholic mass here, and then I get a real nice question about... You thought that it was going to be what? A Catholic mass. Catholic? Catholic mass. Catholic mass. We thought it was some sort of a mess. <laughs> yeah. But, but I'm going to make a question, and I'm trying to be not judgmental about it. So. Really? Really. I, sure, it's not judgmental. Where did the mess part come from then? Uh, from my bad English, I'm sorry. Oh, it is your vibration we are hearing, not your words. Oh. Yes. Mm. And that's where the question is coming. Because I was a Catholic before. And you were a Catholic mess. Yeah, totally. <laughs> right now I'm even a mess without being Catholic, so. <laughs> yeah. So the question is about when I did go to church. I really love God. I'm, I'm, I, really, I really love God. I love universe. And the thing is, no matter the question will be like, I want to know how in, infinite intelligence sees see this. Like, right now we're the leading edge. We're having fun, joy, and we are so free. But the people that go to the Catholic expressions, mass, mass, <laughs> They also go for the experience of loving God. So they go because they know that they, they do what the best that they can do with what they have or they know. So I want to know what infinite intelligence perspective is, what you get it when you are having, when you're being free or when you're going with bondage regret or something because everybody's doing their best. The thing that is most important to realize about anything that anyone is doing is that you can't understand it. You don't know what is motivating or inspiring anyone to anything. It's the reason really that we are encouraging you to find your own connection. And that really is what is at the heart of your question. Because when you are aware that there is an existence of non-physical conscience, and that this non-physical consciousness is aware of you. And then you spend some time, and it doesn't take much, to establish in a very real way your relationship with that. Well, that relationship can take on many different forms because you've all come into this environment with different intentions. You find different beliefs along your physical trail. And so don't work too hard at trying to make everything that is manifesting around you fit together. The thing that we can feel very strongly within you that makes this feel like such a big question that needs such a big answer is that almost everyone who you are looking at who is manifested. Now we've been talking a lot about vibrations turning to thoughts and thoughts turning to things and getting ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. And so many are doing almost all of their aligning or almost all of their whatever it is that they're doing from the format of what they are seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching. And there are very few who really in a consistent way find what is coming forth from within.